Eric's got a new assistant. Can help. They just gonna play out in their blankets. First call is installing uh, some components in a new kitchen. And is that for the um, tap that we might have to move the handle forward a little bit because of the window sill? It's lower. Okay. You did. Oh. <laughs> Uh, connecting all the plumbing underneath. We uh, came and put the plumbing in the brand new kitchen. Uh, customer had their kitchen remodeled, nice new countertops and count cabinets and flooring. And we ran a couple new water lines up to the kitchen sink and connected their new faucet and sink and uh, the functioning kitchen again. The uh, clogged shower drain. Some other things he'd like looked at, so let's see what's going on with it. Over. They made these drains the same way for about a hundred years, and then somebody decided they needed to make a better mousetrap. <laughs> so. Very well. We covered a little hair from the drain. There's an ejector pump. What happens is when the bathroom is used in there, all the wastewater goes into this drain. And uh, when it gets to a certain point, it comes on and pumps it out and up and into the house's main drain. And there's a check valve that only allows the water to flow in one direction. But unfortunately, this check valve has failed, so we gotta replace it. It's a nice new check valve. It's a new silent type, so when it closes, it doesn't slam. What happens is the water pushes up through here, opens this up, goes out to the drain, and when it stops flowing, it closes. It doesn't allow anything to come back. valve was working that would have uh, been full of water this check valve was not working it took considerably less space oh yeah it's because good. this was way deep inside of this one doesn't go as deep inside of this. 